Gusty winds keeping you up last night, causing havoc in parts of the Lone Star State, including just outside of our area here in Central Texas. This is in Stephenville, just outside of our viewing area, but you can see what the wind did pulling off that sheet metal off the side of the tractor supply company there on the west side of town. Ed Johns, my dad, sending in that photo this morning as uh, it was pretty gusty overnight. We're still under a wind advisory. You can see here in the tan. As you look at live radar network, you'll see those showers and thunderstorms that pulled through yesterday. It actually produced a 60 mile per hour gust at the Waco Airport. And then on the back side of it, these are non thunderstorm wind gusts that approached close to 60 everywhere you see one of those wind icons as this system moved off to the east, causing tornadoes in parts of southeast Texas. Thankfully, none of that here, but the winds, they're still around. Northwest winds at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. We're still seeing gusts get up there close to 40. In fact, we have seen a few gusts kind of get up close to 50 here since midnight, so this is quite a gusty system still blowing through. And when you factor in the wind and the temperatures, it feels like it's in the upper 20s outside. Those feel like numbers in the blue. That's what you need to dress for as you are walking out the door. We'll get into the upper 40s by noon, mid 50s by afternoon. It's going to stay windy and chilly, though. Still feeling like the low 40s at noon and upper 40s this afternoon. That wind also going to keep the cedar pollen stirred up from today through Friday. Expect high levels of cedar pollen. If that's something that bothers you, know you're going to have to be dealing with that. Again, mid 50s this afternoon tonight. Expect a freeze to set up. So bring in the pets, bring in the plants and go ahead and we'll wrap up some of those outdoor pipes as well because I think temperatures drop below freezing just as soon as the sun goes down. So it will be a cold night tonight. We're watching our next rain chance set up for Friday. That will pivot through here. A very quick rain chance on the way. And then very cold air set to come in here as we get into early next week. Some models wanting to throw in the chance of even some snow. Right now, we're still watching the model behavior. We're right here. Are the models consistent? Are they changing? So far, they haven't really shown a change, but they are in disagreement. We need them to come together before we can plan out that general timing and determine if this could bring wintry precipitation our way. Mid 50s for Tuesday, 67 for Wednesday, 70 for Thursday, and then the bottom falls out by Sunday. 49 Martin Luther King Day. I think we struggle to make it above freezing. Low temperatures could drop in the mid teens. That is going to be a hard freeze, so prep to set yourself to wrap those pipes here heading into early next week and also watch for that potential for potentially, yes, some ice early next week. We're still watching it closely. Brazos Valley, a little warmer. Still looks like a hard freeze coming your way early next week. The official start date of the 2024